Well, looks like we're live on Facebook and we're live on YouTube. This is our Saturday edition, our Saturday special of our kids special, our, our hour of pencil power. This is our free kids website right here, our free kids at home webcast. And you know what? I need to have a, let's look back. This is our Saturday special and we've had... We had so much fun. This was yesterday's. Look at that logo for Hour of Pencil Power right there. Isn't that a good logo for the Hour of Pencil Power? And this was one of our logos. There's our Hour of Pencil Power logo for where we're drawing steps. And then uh, this logo was a long one. It filled the whole page for, the, for that one-point perspective. Uh, for this uh, one, we did the License to Flop, this Hour of Pencil Power. And for this hour of pencil power, we did the fish popping out of the page. And uh, this one, this was a fun one. This hour of pencil power, we had the balloons floating out. So we've had so much fun uh, drawing. We're, we're just, we're spending this hour of creativity, this hour of imagination, put aside all the real wor world news and just focus on on uh, our imagination, taking a journey with our ideas and exploration of pencil power. It's been, it's, so, so, it's been such a great honor and privilege to be drawing with you guys. I don't know what day this is. Maybe Diane can count up the days. I think it's around number 40, 41. And what we're doing now is we're putting together this, this collection right here, this book. And it's it, we're going to just keep going with it. I don't know if it'll be 50 days or 100 days. But this book is, uh, a, is a one way that you can support us if you like what we're doing. Um, you can purchase this book. And the way you purchase it, uh, Diane Kelly, she put that that uh, link there. Hi, Diane. Thank you so much for being our volunteer room mom. I so appreciate your help. One of these days, our families have to get together. You've been uh, a stalwart supporter for this entire process. So thank you for your volunteer time, Diane. Totally appreciate it. If you guys, uh, if, you, if you're interested in getting this book, it's a collection. See, basically, underneath the pencil, look at this. Let me show the Facebook here. Look at all, see, these are all the days on the cover. Isn't that wonderful? So this, this was the mock-up cover. Then this is the cover we're going to settle on. This is going to actually be a book. It'll be over 100 pages. It's going to have uh, Morrow and my story uh, of uh, this quarantine uh, with creativity. Now, um, if you want to get this book, if you want to go to my, my, my web page and look for this logo right here. It's usually a $99 uh, special when I do a special like this, but it's uh, $50. It's half off. And uh, here's my website. My website is markkissler.com. Okay, that's right. And you look, you look for that. Look for this logo of me sitting there. Click that. And what I'll do, the reason it's $50 is you get the book, but you're also going to get a uh, an original drawing, like you, one of these drawings here, a pencil drawing on the inside cover of the book. It's going to be really, really cool. I got a great drawing lesson today, but I just wanted to tell you three things uh, in the beginning, and then in the middle, I'll tell you these three things again in the end, so that... Uh, uh, I got, uh, so I will spend more time drawing, I'm trying to stay more focused on that. So if you want to pre-order the book, go to my website and, and look for this logo right here. Okay. It's really cool. And I'll give you a hundred dollar drawing on the inside instead of, uh, for 50 bucks. Now, if you want to support our efforts, you can always go to GoFundMe, which I appreciate this. Look for that logo, type in my name and GoFundMe. And, um, uh, if you value these lessons, might I be bold enough to, to ask for a buck a lesson. If you if you guys are enjoying this, add up how many lessons you've drawn with me and, and how about making a contribution to that amount? That would be so fantastic. I appreciate it. We're trying to raise the a portion of our expenses each month, which is about just a portion. We're just trying to raise $1,500 a month. So I so appreciate it. Totally, totally. Um, another way to support us here. Here's our, this is a family membership, 500 lessons online. And you can take a 75% coupon if you want right here. Code, that's our code. Or you can take a 50% coupon code. Or if you have the resources, you can pay the full $199. Uh, 
I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. We have another uh, super, super special guest on today, Amanda Furman. I don't get to see her on here so much because she has 17 kids at home that she not only is working with me and helping me maintain my global webcast entity, but she's taking, she doesn't have 17. She has her three kids at home, but I'm sure it seems like 17. And so, Amanda, happy Saturday to you. Thank you for being on with us today. This is so cool. Amanda, look at how I was showing. Amanda and I just designed this book. And Amanda, <clears throat> since you're on the air, I was going to wait till we were talking. But look at what we did. We're going to put together, Amanda and I, I'm going to put together this index. Now, this is just a printout. This is a P PDF index. Now, this index was for this book. I, I did this as a pre-promotion. This was my... Uh, I don't know if you guys seen this, the 199 Days of Drawing. Do you guys ever see this book right here? That's a cool book. And before I was, I had the book done, we had the, the this drawing index, which was a PDF, and you can print these up. This was all the different days of drawing. Well, Amanda and I, we're going to do this. We're going to create this index. It's going to have the logo of the book right here, and it's going to have all the different days. And it'll be a PDF. And you know what we'll do? Everybody that pre-orders this book, The Hour Pencil Power, I'm going to send you right away so you don't have to wait for the months of this to get done. I'm going to send you a PDF right away, the, the same within a couple days of when you order it, a PDF that you can print up with this. It'll kind of look like... It'll kind of look like this, but these will, it'll be bigger. It'll be, instead of having these small, they'll be bigger so you can see it. It'll be a multi-page PDF. How's that sound? Does that sound cool? Does that sound cool? All right, well, let's get drawing. I got a really fun drawing lesson. There's my book, by the way. If you don't have my, you, uh, you can draw in 30 days book. It's my bestseller over a million out there. Thank you. Attitude of gratitude. Absolutely. Thank you for ordering my book. And getting that, oh, I appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys' support. All right, so now here, here's my cat. Both cats in the room with me at my feet here. Hello, Gordon and Flash. All right, so we're going to draw a castle. We're going to draw a, a two-point castle. We're going to draw horns uh, announcing the arrival of the queen. It's going to be really cool. So I put a dot as a guide point in the middle. And let's get going here. I got a great hour of pencil power planned for you guys. I don't know what our logo will be, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. All right, so get that. That camera's all set. And let's zoom in. This square number one here. And good. Now, this first drawing is in this book. It's in the Imagination Station book. Uh, this first drawing's in this book right here, Marcus's Imagination Station. And it's on page... Um, let me see. Let me find it here. It's a really fun drawing. I gotta find the castle. See, there's see what I'm doing is I'm looking, looking through all the, the index here. There's one page of index. There's there's another page of index. I'm trying to find the castle. So there's another there's another page. There's so many different drawings here. There it is, the colossal castle, page 198. So let's see if that's the right page that I can show you it. The Colossal Castle. Well, this is one of the drawings we're going to do today, which is right here. You guys see that drawing? We're going to draw that castle right there. It's going to be really cool. Okay. It, but right now, we're going to draw the, the guide. I can't find it. It's in this book, but I'll, 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 I'll find it later. But it's in, it is in this book. There's so many drawings, I can't find it. But we're going to draw. It's kind of like a... Uh, uh, looking up at it, I think of a fishbowl. You know those little castles that are in the fishbowl? We're going to draw that kind of thing right here. So let's do it. Let's do it. By the way, I hope you're having a great day. Mario and I are having a great day today. When when, when you have a great day, you got you to gotta, uh, acknowledge it, embrace it, and celebrate it. Right, you guys? Because we're all having good days and we're all having hard days during this time, aren't we? So this is, uh, you know what, I'm just adjusting the camera just a bit. Sorry, uh, you folks on YouTube. I want to get it even straighter for you guys on YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to get it just a little bit, a little bit straighter for you guys on YouTube out there. Let's see if I can get it there. All right, that's pretty good, right? Do you guys like that on YouTube? How are you doing on YouTube? 
Oh, Mario's downstairs. He's eating. Uh, he's eating his lunch and um, getting ready to go for the day. Let's see here. North and south. Oh, thank you. All right. So here we go. We're going to draw this really cool castle. Two dots straight across from each other. I'm going to start with a four short in circle. And I'm going to draw two. Ver We're going to look up. This is kind of that one point perspective week we had last week. This is kind of a little bit continuing that, but in a different way. I'm going to draw this guard tower. This is Rapunzel's tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, right? So we're drawing this marshmallow looking up at it, this disc, and we're looking up. And then inside here, look at this, put two dots and we'll put the, the tower. Did you see that movie Tangled? I had so many, <clears throat> so many of my students help create the characters and animate. I had a lot of my students work on the backgrounds. And one of my students actually was the designer for the castle. They designed the castle. I thought the, the stonework and the details was so great. So here's contour. We're going to draw this really cool castle. Now, across the top, these, these little, uh, these, see, I'm going to follow this guideline for where the crenels, these are called crenels, that the archers, right, the little archers look out of here, and the, and we just follow the guideline, vertical lines, and follow the top line, and we're going to put thickness on these, and I'm going to tell you a really interesting way to do it. Now, look at this. Basically, our guide point for these is about right here from our point of view. So look at this, this this thickness of this block comes down. So we can darken that in so you can see what I'm doing. You see how the thickness here comes down toward this part. And then this, this one comes down here. See that, see the thickness? Now you can't see the thickness of this one because you're looking straight at it. And then the thickness here, watch this, you're looking up here. So the thickness here changes, see it comes down Notice how we're using that one-point perspective again. Isn't that interesting? And the thickness here comes down. Isn't that interesting? Someone type in, ooh, that's interesting. Uh, oh, Lee, Lee is hanging out with us before he starts painting himself. That's wonderful. Uh, thank you, Broad. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Faye. I'm glad you're here drawing together again. I am so happy, you guys. Look at this. I am so happy you're drawing with me today. Oh my goodness, it's a good day. You can, you guys can totally tell. I get emails when you guys, when I sound a little bit depressed or slower. We all have hard days during this time. We all have such hard days. And and uh, the last, I, I've had a couple hard days this week and you guys helped carry me through. You can tell. And I want to, and I, I want to thank you for being positive and being supportive I'm just, I'm so glad you guys love to draw and you're with us. Take your finger and go, aha, aha. Don't pretend you don't notice the coffee stain right here. So we're going to soar with our imagination. Look at, I love all my paper puppets. We're going to soar with our imagination. And we're going to really stick our necks out. We're really going to stick our neck out and take some creative risk today. Right? And we're going to. We're just gonna, uh, we, we're, I'm just gonna send a big hug to everybody. A big hug, a big ninja, ninja squirrel hug. Awesome, now, all right, here we go. So on the top up here, now you know what I'm gonna do down here? I wanna put a, a window. You know what, I think I'll have, I'm gonna have Rapunzel looking out the window. I'm gonna put a window right here. And, and, and coming out of here, I'm gonna draw Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, here she is, there's, there's her head. There's Rapunzel. And I'm going to block it in here. And then here's her nose. She's looking down. Her little eyes. And I'm going to focus this on here. This is looking good on Facebook, on uh, YouTube. Glad you guys are with me. We have 17 people on YouTube on Saturday edition. This is cool. So I'm going to have Rapunzel's hair. Her, her hair is going to be like this big bouffant. And uh, there's her ear. And here's Rapunzel. You know, I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna have her hair twisting. Watch this. I'm gonna have her hair coming down. Her hair's gonna come down here, and watch this. It's gonna twist. I'm gonna make her hair twisting. Ooh, I'm gonna put that. I like this. This is kind of fun. I'm gonna make her hair into a like a, a twist. It's twisting. It twisting all the way down. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And all right, so that's kind of cool. And then maybe you can have. Oh, you know what? 
uh, this morning when she was fixing her hair, she put too much moose in her hair. Like she put too much moose. Isn't that hilarious? I cracked myself up. She put moose in her hair. You like hair gel. All right. Now, so here's, uh, oh, look at that. North and South is having her lunch while she's watching. That's wonderful on YouTube. So I'd love drawing. I love having simulcast of YouTube and Facebook at the same time. It's really cool. Uh, we have 20 on Facebook. Great to see you, you guys on Saturday with our with our uh, our castles. We're gonna draw castles today, and we're gonna draw a suit of uh, shining army or army a suit of shining armor. So there's Rapunzel. I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow underneath her face here, and uh, let's focus this again. Now Rapunzel, Rapunzel, she's gonna be. I think I think I'll have Rapunzel's hand. I think she's gonna be like waving to her friends. Maybe her hands are up here. And she's like, hello, hello. And she's she's smiling. She, she's smiling, and there's her little hands. Hello, she says. Hello, happy Saturday. Welcome to our hour of pencil power. Maybe, maybe she's doing it. Maybe she's Maybe she is our logo. Maybe she is shouting out here our hour pencil power. And I like, here's what I like to do with these. I like to curl for these, uh, these text box. Watch this. I'm going to curl this down like it's a, it's a scroll. I'm going to make her shouting it out. A cool little scroll here. And this will be our hour uh, of... Pencil power. I love having some some kind of identifying logo. Do you guys like that one? Put that one on there. So she's shouting out our hour of pencil power. Dude, tell me, what do you think? One through ten. Ten being great. Do you love it? Oh, I love how you spell moose correctly. See, that's moose. M-O-U-S-S-E. A lot of moose. She put too much moose in her hair. That would be a lot for her hair because it's 100 yards long, right? Hour of pencil power. Are you guys having fun drawing with me? Uh, wonderful. I love hearing your comments, and I love that you're drawing with me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, girls and boys and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas. Hey, I'm so excited. My summer camp for registration, we're transitioning, we're transitioning to summer camps, Okay. I'm doing summer camps uh, for East Coast time, digital, all virtual. I'm doing one week of summer art camps for Pacific time. I'm doing one week of summer camps for Mountain time. I'm doing a week for uh, Indian for India for that for that time zone. I'm doing a week for the uh, Europe and the British uh, Commonwealth, the United Kingdom, and so we're going to have summer camps, and they're ninety nine dollars is right. Uh, we don't have the the all the all the times and dates aren't finalized exactly. We're just in the process, but instead of it being you know three four hundred dollars for the week, it's ninety nine dollars for the family for my drawing camp, and we have one week that's a, a full day, a full day of visual performing arts with uh, dancers, musicians, singers. We're all going to be doing live uh, Zoom type classes. And uh, that one is usually $500 a week. It's going to be $299 for the week for the family, not for, it, for per person. I'm really excited about it. So maybe you guys want to consider spending a whole week or two weeks for the summer. I mean, for mo uh, most of my camps, it's just me drawing for, well, you can, you can take an hour or you can stay for two hours. There's going to be night classes for every one of my weeks for families. So I'm excited here. Let's put the thickness up here. Now, I'll be getting up at like 4 in the morning for the, uh, for the British uh, summer camp. For the, and that's that time zone up all along that uh, uh, longitude line, all the time zones in the British time. And then I'll be doing the week for India. Now, if any of you other, uh, and if any of you guys out there in another country want me to do one for your, 
for your country, just shout it, shout it out to me, and I'll schedule that. I'll make that time for your time zone. I know I have a request for India, and I know I have a request for that time zone. I know I have a request for uh, England. So you guys, if you you in, you're in a, a, a foreign country from here, from the United States, if you're overseas, send me a comment right now or, or send me an email to marketmarkkissler.com and I'll adjust it. Now look at this thickness, you're looking up at it. Now what's gonna be really cool on this is watch, I'm gonna put, see this, I'm gonna very lightly watch, just, just put, very light, curve these lines, curve these lines going away from you. See this? Because you're looking up at it. And we're going to do the same thing. Look at I'm going to put these curving, like these brick lines. Very light. Very light lines, okay? And now it depends on how, how uh, crazy you want to get. But you could, you could, you could take this. Now watch this. You, you could go... And I'm just going to draw like three bricks here. Just draw a few bricks. Just a, a, little, a few bricks, but you following the curve. Now, this is called grouping. I'm just going to group a few bricks. I'm just going to put like little groups of them, just a few here. See, I'm following that. Then I'll darken them in. This is a, called texture. It's also called a, a natural pattern. The bricks create a, a nice texture, a surface texture. If I was drawing a tree, the grain would be a nice natural design. If I was drawing a, a bunny rabbit, the fur would be a, the, the design, but and also grouping. I just put a few here and there, and it gives the illusion. See this? I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna put some bricks here. I'll put like four there, and then I'll come down here. Maybe I'll just put one down there, and I'll put, maybe I'll put two bricks up here. Just a little bit goes a long way. It's just giving the suggestion of an entire texture, okay? Just a few here and there. A, a few really go a long way. Just a few bricks here. All right, now underneath here, watch this. This is away from the light, so you're gonna, definitely gonna shade that darker underneath here. Do you guys like our little castles? It's a little little play on one point perspective, having some fun. All right, I'm gonna check the comments here. I don't have very many comments on uh, on uh, uh, YouTube. Thank you, De Droid, for following me since 1986. Thank you, YouTube Droid. North and South, thanks for drawing. North and South says, where's Mario? Mario's downstairs. He is uh, have eaten his lunch, and he's he's gonna come in. He said he wants to draw the last drawing, so he's gonna come in and do a minutes with Mario later today. Okay, so thank you. you, you guys on YouTube, you can make comments today. This is open comment day for YouTube. Thank you for keeping it super turbo kin friendly, super family friendly, super appropriate and respectful. I so appreciate that. I do, I do, I do. Oh, I'm feeling good today, guys. How many of you are feeling good? If you're feeling good, right? I feel great. How many of you are feeling good today? We have we have got to acknowledge it and celebrate it when we're having a good day. And hug your family and your mom and your dad and tell them that uh, you're having a good day. This is great. Oh, this is a great day. That's right, Kara from YouTube. That's right. It's a great day. Woohoo! It's a great day. Hey, here, here, I'll get tied into my sales pitch. It's a great day to pre-purchase my Hour of Pencil Power book, pre-order it, and you just go to my website and you click that right there, and it's not $100, it's 50 bucks, and you get a, a personal in, a, d inscription. You get a personal drawing on the inside cover. Also, as soon as you order it, I'm going to send you a PDF index of all the days. This isn't this isn't the actual index. This is just a mock-up of my other book. But I'm going to send you something just like this on PDF that you can print up and you can carry. It'll have all of the days on it. That's every order. Everybody ordered. Oh, look, and I got someone just ordered it for $50 plus $9 shipping. I don't know when I'll ship it out. It'll be a month or two or three. But right away, I am going to send you this index. You're going to get a multiple-page index, okay? And the way you do that as you go to my uh, website at markkistler.com. I'm so excited about it. Now, remember, if you guys want to get your 
Draw 3D membership. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's, we have thousands and thousands of families, over, what, uh, 15,000? No, 50,000. We've had 50,000 families in the past 15, uh, 15 years. I'm getting the numbers wrong. Uh, 10 years. Um, it's, we got to change that because this is a few years old. We have about 13 years. We have over 50,000 members, and it's usually $200 a family. It's uh, With this coupon here, it's $49 right here, Kistler 7. Now, if you can afford it just to take half off for $99, is my half off code. Or if you can afford the full thing, we appreciate it. If you can pay the $199, my goodness, thank you so much. We appreciate your support. All right, let's go ahead and let's finish shading this. I'm so grateful, you guys. What a great day. Oh, I got a membership for the Draw 3D. Oh, my goodness. I, this is fantastic. I got a book order. I got a pre-order for that book of the hundred, uh, the Hour of Pencil Power. I think I'm going to rename it uh, 100 Hours of Pencil Power or how, however many days that we, we do it. I think that'll be the title. What do you think? Put the number of days. How many hours? Like, you know, 50 hours of pencil power. Or right now we're at like 42 hours of pencil power. All right. There we go. I love this. This is great. I got a Draw 3D family membership. And, well, thank you. They took a 50% discount. So it was a $99 membership. My goodness, that goes a long way to help us. And uh, the membership is going to help you also in the summer art camp. What's, what's really cool, there is a silver lining here doing all this uh, art camps digitally. The silver lining is that it's open to the whole world. It doesn't matter where you live because you just pick what time works for you. You pick what week and everybody in the whole world can, can join me. It's just so awesome. All right, let's move to square number two. What do you guys think about a virtual summer camp? I mean, is there any interest out there? Just what, what do you think? Send me a text. What do you think about... Drawing with me. Now, it's, the summer camps are about three hours a day, four hours a day. Plus, you can come back at night and do a, uh, uh, an extra hour. So, and it's $99 for the week. What do you guys think? I've never done it before. <clears throat> this is the first time, and I'd love to get your comments on YouTube, and I'd love to get your comments on Facebook. Let me know what you think about that. And uh, the silver line, you can spend summer with Mario. I'm going to be spending a lot more than a summer with my son. That's right. Uh, the, uh, oh, Diane, there's Diane's comment. All right. Yeah, Mari and I, we have our own uh, Moon Base Kistler. We're calling our house Moon Base Kistler, and we take uh, ex uh, outer excursions to our forest in the side yard. It's really cool. All right. Now, coming across here, look at this. Put a horizon line across the top. Put a horizon line. Now, this one. This is going to be really cool here. This is going to be cool. I'm going to move this camera up so you can see it. All right. I'm going to move this out just a bit. And we're going to do a two-point uh, castle here. Now, this, this is, a, this is, this is uh, in the Imagination Station book. This is in, I'm going to zoom this out so you can see it. This is in the Imagination Station book. And this, and, and the different version of this castle is also in my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. In fact, I'll try to find this one for You Can Draw in 30 Days. I don't, if you haven't, don't have this book, it's such a great book. Of course, I wrote it. What am I going to say? No, it's, it's, it's okay. Here's the castle. Here's my castle drawing in this book. Isn't that cool? So we're going to draw something very similar to that right now. It's really cool. And we, there's another version of the Imagination uh, initiative too, Imagination Station. All right, so this one's using a, a two-point perspective. So I'm going to put our perspective points for this are going to be uh, about here and here. Now I'm going to draw the vertical line. Now this is going to be a little distorted. The castle is going to be a little distorted because the, the perspective line should be really far out. But I'm going to kind of squeeze them in just so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to draw these. These. Uh, this is an introduction to next week's theme, which is two-point perspective. So we're going to draw the sides of the castle here. Two-point perspective. It's going to be really cool. All right, see if I get this looking more. 
and focus it for you guys. And I'll t I'm having fun with these camera angles here. All right, does that make sense? I'm doing it all freehand for you. All right, so now at the top, I'll, I'm gonna draw this the edge of the castle. I think I'll make the edge of the castle here and the edge of the castle about right here. You see, now you're down here. You're gonna be down here looking up. You're gonna be looking up at the castle. Now for this one, uh, I'm gonna draw, here I'm gonna draw the big opening right here. Here's the big door, the big arch. And I think I'm gonna redo this because I wanna center it more. I think I'm gonna start it right here. I'm gonna draw more of an arch. Vertical line is really big arch right here. And then I'm gonna have the drawbridge coming down. They're lowering the drawbridge and a whole bunch of people are coming out of the drawbridge. Now what's interesting about this, watch this, this is gonna be really distorted like a camera focus, if a camera lens. See the end of the drawbridge right here, look at this. Look at how, how angled, how steep that angle is. Isn't that interesting? It's gonna be really cool. Uh, and I'll just kind of curve that drawbridge and it's gonna have a thickness. I'm gonna make it a really thick drawbridge. And then the door, uh, the, the door's on the right side, so I'm gonna draw the top. So you're looking up, see? You're, you're gonna be down here looking up. Uh, maybe this is you, maybe you're right here. Maybe you're here, there's your nose. And maybe you're, you're like waving, hello, you're waving, you're watching the, 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 the folks coming out of here. And, and uh, there's your other hand. Now, this is interesting. We want the thumb going up or down. If we put the thumb, I think I'm going to have the thumb going up following the, the thumb rule. But not all the time, but some, most of the time the thumb is going up toward the sky, see? Our little guy here is going to be waving. There's his hair. And you're, this is you. You're looking up here. All right, so there's your... This is you, and there's your nose, and you're, you're waving. I'm not sure what you're waving to here. Maybe you're gonna have a whole bunch of people coming out. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a four shortened circle here and one over here, and I'm gonna have it connect. I'm gonna use my ruler. This will be really cool. I'm gonna put on this side right here, I'm gonna put like a hook. For the, and uh, then look at following the guideline. See this, the other the hook on the other side of the drawbridge will be there. I love these little details. And then from this hook, I'm gonna draw like a cable or some kind of a cord going in there. See that? And I'll use my ruler. It's kind of fun to, to make it slanting up there. And we'll draw this one. So there's, isn't that fun? So you draw your cable. I love the details. I love adding little details. And then here, it comes right out of here. And so you put that, put the thickness, you can't see the, the side here, but you can see it at the top. You see, you see up in the top there. All right, one through 10. Do you guys like this so far? Do you guys like this? Let me see, do I have any comments here? Awesome, cool, wonderful. This is cool, you guys. Love it, love it. I'm glad you're drawing with me today. I am glad you're drawing with me today. It's a good day here. All right, now, 110%, that's wonderful, Kira, thank you. Now I'm gonna put this the thickness, I'm gonna make it a really thick wall. Oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna draw people marching out of here. I wanna draw the queen. I'm gonna put the queen right here marching, Big the queen. This is kind of a small castle, that's the size of the queen. And here's the queen, she's gonna be uh, she's walking, there's her foot. And then this foot right here is coming forward. She's gonna do a little shadow. And the queen, she's gonna be holding her scepter here. So here's her scepter. I'm gonna make it a really big scepter. And maybe, maybe it has like, a little spike on it. There she is, and there's her fingers holding her scepter. And I'll focus this so you guys can see. And then the queen's gonna have, of course, her, this is below that level, she can have a really big hat, a big crown, right? And that's right, angle, ang angling towards you. 
I love adding little details like this. And here's here's the queen. And here's her hair. Her hair's flowing in the back. So here's her queen and uh, her other hand. Here's her other hand here. And there's the and she's walking. She's getting ready to walk off the. She's getting ready to walk right off the. That's cool. So there's our queen. And then we're going to have, I think I'll put a whole bunch of people following her out. So I'm going to put a whole crowd of people. And then you just take a few of them to identify the detail. And it kind of gives the suggestion that. There's a whole group of them. So I'll have someone else here walk in, and make, make their foot kind of coming forward. And now this, we're gonna we're gonna darken in these cables. I have my cats down by my feet. It's really fun. Are you guys having fun with this one? Now you're not gonna this one, this cable will disappear because it's behind the queen, see? And we have all these different people. And they're all walking here. And you just kind of put the bodies. And isn't that fun? Some of them are going to be waving, like this one, waving up here. Hi. And this one's hands over here. But this one, another hand up here. There are some of them are waving. And then we can you can spend time and add more detail. I'm going to, that's as much detail as I'll do right now. And then you can add more. You can add more to these when we're done, okay? I just, I love giving you an idea, giving you a start, and then you add your own ideas, your own imagination. All right. You having fun? There's our, the, the drawbridge coming down. Then I'll darken in the background back there. The shading inside here gets lighter. Uh, now watch this. On the top, for sure I'm going to put a shadow. I'm going to put a shadow on the ground here. Getting, and then along the base, I'll put some grass. See this? Put some grass. And then on this side, uh, let's put, you know what? I'm going to put some towers. Watch this. I'll put a tower here. This would be cool. I'll put a tower here, and I'll put a tower there, and then following the guideline. See this coming down here to the to our guideline. I'll put a tower here, and I'll put a tower there. Does that make sense? Are you guys with me? So you see, now on the tower, I'm even going to put, I think here I'll put the crenels. I'll put a few crenels here. And here I'll put a few crenels. I think I did one in the middle. I'll, I'll, I'll make it the same. That's kind of cool, right? Kind of interesting. So then we, now here's the guideline, right? If you put put your fulcrum here on the, your pencil on that guide point, and if you aim up to the thickness here on this side, there's a thickness for that one. Oh, look at these are these are the same, see that? And this one. That's kind of cool. Do you guys like that? All right, how are you doing? I'm checking out the text box. Uh, 10 plus plus. Yeah, you, you know what? I didn't put a moat. You could put a moat. You could put a moat. I, I kind of skipped over because I was getting... This was supposed to be more of the... I, usually I try to start a simple drawing, more complicated, more complicated, and end on a real fancy schmancy one for the hour. So I can get, you know, the young uh, kids drawing all the way up to the more advanced professionals that are hanging out. But look at what I tend to do. I start drawing, and I can't stop myself. And I start going crazy. I start going nuts with ideas. Well, how, hi, Alan Johnson. Thanks for, thanks for drawing with me. And you guys can put more details to your people in here. You can put... Um, as many ideas as you want. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put some guy here. He's all happy, his hair. 
and then put his and see then you just you can add more details more people uh you could add just little little bits of detail in here i can't stop myself and this this person here is smiling Ah, oh, my goodness, I'm having fun. All right, so now let's go over here on this. I'm gonna put some windows. I'll put some windows on this one. So this will be interesting for thickness. Watch this, I'm gonna put, I'll put uh, three windows. One, two, three, three windows. And it all lines up to our guide point. So what's gonna be interesting about these three windows, you guys, is the thickness, the thickness of the castle these windows it's not a very uh, uh it's not a very conventional castle usually you'd have all those very small windows right so, so the archers can look out now the thickness of the windows lines up with that this far vanishing point you see that's so we use our dot with our ruler isn't that interesting I hope I'm not uh, now, if you guys, listen, if you don't do it perfectly, if it looks all wiggly and scribbly and not perfect, please know that that's great. That's perfect. The more mistakes you make, the more scribbly, wibbly, doodly it looks, the better. It means that you're you're taking a risk. You're coming out of your comfort zone, and you're taking a creative risk. Give yourself the license to flop. Give yourself permission to totally just have fun. Explore this idea of the two-point perspective. It is, it's not, it's not super easy, but it is super fun. It's not super easy, but it is super fun, okay? So then we put our thicknesses here of the base. Isn't that interesting? Do you love it? All right, well, let's focus this again. Now, out of the windows here, look, I'm going to put a bunch of people looking out here. So these guys, look at, they're looking out the window. Put some, you can put uh, some people in there. Put some other people looking at out these windows. See this? Isn't that fun? You can put all kinds of folks looking out the windows. Isn't that funny? Look at this. I can't stop myself for the details. I'm going crazy. So we're drawing the cast now. The next one's going to be really fun. I want to do, I want to do this. Uh, I saw a, a photo of this online, and I did a quick sketch. I want to draw that picture. Does that look fun? Uh, oh, hello. Hey, uh, 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 and Nina, and Nina Dace. Hello, Dace. You know what? I'm going to do a, a summer camp week, virtual summer camp week. Based on the British time, it's going to be, um, let me see here. I just figured out the week that will be for, for uh, all of United Kingdom. It's going to be July 27th through the 30th. It'll be Monday through Thursday. And it'll, it'll be British Standard Time at 11 a.m. in England, 12, 12 noon in England. Um, it'll be uh, 1 p.m. in England. So it'll be you know, 6 a.m. for me. And also it'll be at um, 6.30 in the evening in England during that week. Um, I'll be posting these times in a little bit tomorrow or the next day, or you know, probably by Tuesday. Let's say by Tuesday. Okay, let's put a shadow on the ground. The sh even the shadow lines up. I'm going to do a week for the East Coast, a week for the West Coast, a week for the Mountain Time, a week for the Central. I'm going to do a week for the India, India time, India standard time, India daylight time. I'm going to do a, a week for the British summer time zone. And it's going to be my summer art camp. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be so cool. So I'm going to put a few of these bricks here, these textures. Remember, a little bit, a little grouping, a little, a few go a long way, just one or two here or there. A few go a long way. See what I'm doing here with these bricks? Just a few, and all the bricks, they line up. See, they still line up, these little bricks, these little details here. Isn't that interesting? 
Then I'll put a little bit of a shading. And uh, wow, we have 27, 27 folks hanging out with us on YouTube. That's so awesome. Awesome. Oh, yeah, Dace, basically, uh, knowing that you're there was got what gave me the motivation. And I have my um, Doug and uh, Andrew in Ireland and uh, all the folks in, in England and the United Kingdom. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to do a whole week for the for Great Britain time zone and all the countries that line up with that time zone. All right, here's a little, uh, here's, uh, here is a little geography quiz. Who can text me the countries that are uh, line up with the same time zone as India? And then here's another one. Who can tell me the countries that line up with the longitude, the time zone of England, of United Kingdom? Also, I'm doing a week for Europe, you guys. I'm going to be doing a week Line up. I'm not sure if it's going to be three hour uh, Greenwich time, three hours plus, or Greenwich time uh, more than that. Because I know England is uh, uh, England is two hours Greenwich Greenwich mean time plus two hours, and I know that. So it's about means it's about uh, if we do a class at 11 a.m. for British summer time, it means it's 6 a.m. for me. Hey. Uh, in, uh, let me see who someone Emma McDonald order a copy of Pencil Power book. Mario's here in the house, you guys. Mario's here uh, in the house. Mario's with us. Mario, look at Mario's going to be doing a, a drawing with us. Mario's going to be doing the last drawing, right, Mario? Uh, here, I got to get my. Yes. Where's my? Here, I want to put this up here. I want to put this up. Um, all right, so uh, uh, um, England, Spain. Oh, look at that! England, Spain, France, Italy. That they're all, that that week will be available. Emma, you're gonna get yourself the index right away for this for the book. And they um, this I, I'm looking for my cover of the book, and that's not the correct one. I, I move things around so much that I I uh, I don't know what I did with my little logo. That drives me crazy. What did I? No, that's not it. Oh. Good, good try for it though. No. Maybe it's up here. Might be under. Oh, Mario's helping me find it. Might be under. I'm looking for it here. What did I do with that, Mario? Oh, there it is. Found it. There, yeah. There's. That's the cover. That's the cover right there. Thank you for ordering it. If you do want to get it, go to my website. And my website is right here. It's marketmarkkistler.com. And this, click that right there. You can order it. Now, if you're in England or overseas, it's $25 shipping. If you're here domestically in the U.S., it'll be $9 shipping. It's going to be a collection of all of our... Uh, all of these drawings. All, uh, it's going to be just, uh, I don't know, be a 50-page book, 100-page book. But if you order it today, I'm going to make sure that for that $50, I'll give you a, a original doodle, original drawing on the inside. It helps us immensely. Thank you, guys. Definitely, attitude of super gratitude. Mari, I'm so glad you're here. People have been asking about you. They say, where's Mari? Where's Mari? I keep saying, he's coming. He's coming. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I want to smooth this out just to see. I, sometimes I'll, I'll even smooth out square sides. It's not always just a round blending. Sometimes I'm just trying to get this the value. Now I know that that's going to be a little value underneath there. See, a little value there. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys having fun with more? We got another person that ordered the book. Awesome. That is so awesome. That's three people today who have ordered yeah, the book. You Thank you, guys. Yeah, show you GoFundMe. Hmm? Show you GoFundMe. Yes, I'm going to. I and have then, one, too, guys. Yeah, and he, you're coming up soon. You can do your... I have one, too. Yeah, Mar has a, has a GoFundMe, too. That's awesome. He's going to tell you all about it. All right, now, way in the back, let's go ahead and darken this in and put a lighter area. We know we like to kind of make that stand out. And I, I'm just, I love using pencil, but it's a little, it's a little more challenging. Uh, I love Mario's business brain. He's so cool, Emma. Thank you, Mario. Emma loves your business brain. 
Does it, Frank? She loves the way you think about donating your time oh, to yeah. help people and then raising it through the GoFundMe page. Awesome. It's a wonderful business model, Mario. Okay, you get lighter and lighter. You're awesome, Mario. You're an internet sensation, Mario. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, where'd my, there's my eraser. That looks cool. Now, uh, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Hey, what if, what if these guys ordered pizza? Then I'm going to put, I'm going to put a pizza. I'm going to put the archer, the guard up here. here here's a guard. Like he's, he's watching out for everybody. And so the guard has, I'm going to give him one of these kind of cool little hats. And he's looking down. And he's saying, who goes there? Here's the guard. He has kind of like one of those little elf hats. And he's, he's, he's saying, who goes there? And I'm going to give him a bow and arrow. That's his protection here. He's protecting it, right? So here he is. Here's, he's holding his bow and arrow. And maybe he's, he's pulling back. So here's his body. Now, maybe his, his arm is pulling back the string, right? He's getting ready to pull it back. And there's a pizza guy here. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait, I, I have it. I have it. The pizza guy, he was delivering pizza, and he saw the he saw the guy with the arrow, so he's running. He's going, wait! So look at he's going to be, he's running away here. So here he is. So here's his foot back here. I have a fun idea. Look, look, the, the pizza guy, Mario, he's running for... Yeah, but I have a fun idea. What? Wait! I'm Let the me, pizza guy. You should put me in there. I asked me, Molly Milan, if he's the pizza man coming, I'll be coming to her and get the pizza. Yeah, all right. For the mower. The blonde mower. Can you guys hear Mario? Because I don't have my hearing aids in. You guys have to tell me the story. Mario is such a good sport. He he talks to me, and if I don't have my hearing aids in, I can't hear him. And boy, it's got to be so frustrating for for my son. Yeah. You're such a good sport, Mario. Here's the pizza guys going. Wait, wait. He's like ah, and look at he 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 the pizza. He just where's it? Did he leave the pizza? He tossed the pizza. Look, he tossed it in the air. Look at that. The pizzas. He he like. He tosses it behind him. He goes, take the pizza. And the guy was up here. He was just trying to get his identity. Who goes there? The pizza man. Ah, don't do that. Ah. And the guy goes, wait. Oh, you know what he's going to do. <clears throat> so this guy, the way he paid for the pizza is he shot his arrow down. He put, uh, oh, maybe here's here's what he did. Mar, how about this? How about if on his arrow he put, a dollar and he's going to shoot a dollar down so he can pay the guy he has to pay wait wait for your dollar because back then the pizzas were only a dollar all right that's we can go nuts we can keep going nuts on this one but i still want to draw another one and then we're going to have mario come up here all right so here's our um let's go to next square square number next square huh Oh, you, Mario's going to practice what he's going to draw. I'm not sure what he's going to draw. You know which one? Are you going to draw the auric vacuum today? That's awesome. Here you go. So now we're going to draw. So Mario's drawing a, a, a medieval auric vacuum that the castle, the castle uses. So on this one, we're going to draw this, uh, uh, this, this, the suit of armor. So in this one, I'm going to start this one with a, with the helmet here, but I'm going to, eh, do I have room on top to put the, no, nope, I'm going to make it a little bit lower because I want to put, I'm gonna, there's, there's the, there's the face shield and here's the neck coming down. It's going to be cool. Now here's my sketch I'm working off of. See, I want to draw this guy, this cool sketch of a suit of armor with that little tassel on the top. How many do we have? We have 22 uh, viewers on YouTube drawing with me right now. Good to have you. Now, on this one, look at I'm going to put like this collar. Okay, so this is cool. That's like his shoulders. And then one of the shoulders up here. 
one of the, and then one of the shoulders over here. It's kind of an interesting perspective for kind of twisting that suit of armor around here. All right. So that'll be over here. Now, I'm going to, this is the neck coming down. So that we know it's going to be kind of curved here, but I'm going to do some, have some fun. I'm going to um, come out and have this collar come down to kind of a point. See, here's the center. Kind of figure out where the center is here. And so the collar will come down here. I'm going to do kind of an interesting little collar here. And uh, now right across, about right here, the middle of the, of the uh, helmet will be this shield. Now, I thought this was a really interesting way that they did this. They put like these little hinges on the side of the suit of armor. And then coming right about right here, coming down to the your guideline, I'm going to curve the shield up. Same thing, I'm going to make this one come a little bit lower. Coming from their guide point over here, I'm going to curve this the the mast, you know, the uh, the the shield that goes up and down, correct? That so they could open up and see where they're going and talk, and then close it up before they go into battle. And then right here, so I'm going to draw this really cool shield. You guys with me? And then now this was an idea from a picture I saw on uh, on my um, Facebook page. It was just really interesting. It just popped up, and it was advertising something, some insurance company. And I thought, and I and I just thought it was such a great image. So I I drew it. So th th that's going to be the shield. Now I'm going to put the the grate on the inside. These are the great, like the barbecue grates. So I'll put one there, I'll put one here, and I'll put one back here. And I'll put one back here and one back here. Uh, Matthew says, hi, Mark. I just want to say hi that I subscribed. Thank you for subscribing to YouTube. And I want to thank you for all the great content. Well, thank you. We have hundreds of lessons on YouTube. Uh, but if you want to get hundreds of hour-long lessons, um, check out. And we have uh, many hundreds of small eight-minute lessons that are good for beginners, mini marshmallows, five, six-year-olds, eight, nine, ten-year-olds, eleven-year-olds. And um, uh, goes up for beginning to intermediate to advanced. Uh, draw 3D. And now if you want to get a membership of draw3d.com, uh, you go to our um, go to our website at, at draw3d.com and to put in your, your code here. It could be 75% off. Or if you will need it, just take a 50% off. Thank you for that, guys. Now, right in the middle, I'm going to put one, one support bar in the middle. And then I'm going to darken in the detail. Isn't that fun? That little design we're doing on the inside here. And any pencil will work. I'm just using my mechanical pencil, but you can have fun and do this. And you don't have to draw small. You can draw as big as you want. Like me. Yeah. I'm not big, so I can't see. Yeah. Okay, now over here, darken this in. And then darken this in back here. All right, what do you guys think? Do you love it so far? Give me some comments. What do you think? 16 on Facebook, 25 on YouTube. And usually we get about, how, how many are drawing per family? Usually during the week, it's like 3, 3.2 are drawing per login. Uh, Saturdays tend to be more individuals. So let's see. Happy Saturday, by the way, guys. Happy Saturday. And uh, I'm going to make my face shield a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to put these interesting, funky little... Isn't that funny? These little things at the end here. It's like almost looks like an alien, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? Now, coming down here, watch this. I want to draw the uh, these... The, it's like it's made out of metal, right? Made out of steel. So I'll put a couple of these, these lines. And then I'm going to darken in our little shoulder piece and maybe I'll put a little thickness on that 
or a little outline. That's kind of cool. Definitely going to shade it nice and dark. I'm going to shade dark. Oops, i got to finish this. Are you guys enjoying drawing our knight, our knight's uh, shiny armor? Uh, say hi to Tom Johnson, please. Hello, Tom Johnson. Thank you, Dace in England. Thank you, Katie Shalupa De Jong. Diane has four drawing, four drawing there. Wow, Mario, that's cool. Are you guys looking forward to drawing Mario's medieval castle Oric? He's going to draw an auric that they use to vacuum out the castles to keep them clean. Our house is the cleanest castle. We have the cleanest moon base in all of Texas. I guarantee you, we have the cleanest moon base of all of Texas. All right, I'm going to draw some detail at the top. I want to draw this interesting little, uh, uh, like a, I don't know what they call this. Anybody know what they call this when they have... There's, I'm going to draw like a, um, I'm going to draw this, this, uh, I don't know what they call this. What do they call this, you guys? Shield. It's uh, on top of the helmet. It's kind of like this, Feather. this uh, decoration, the feathers. What do you think, Mario? Uh, armor of feathers. And it comes back. I, I know what you're talking about because that used to be at my old school. And then, then they put some bristles on top, like feathers. Your shiny armor. What do you think of that? Isn't that interesting? Is that your shiny armor? And then I'm going to darken it in underneath it here. You're you're up in about th four minutes, Mario. Are you ready to come up here? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have minutes with Mario. No. Uh, I kind of messed around with the, usually it would just go straight back, but I tilted a little bit. Maybe he bumped the doorway when he was coming out. <laughs> you see, look at, he bumped the doorway and it, and it moved his, uh, his little bristles, his little fancy ribbon thing. Robert Neustad, uh, Fanal, is that what it's called? F Fanal, thank you, Robert. Thanks. We didn't do anything like this on Imagination Station, Robert. Robert's in the house. Robert's in the house. Robert, my co-creator, my co-producer, the executive producer of Imagination Station, where we, he and I won Emmys for that show right there. If you want to see that show, you can watch it on Amazon Prime. And I don't have my Amazon Prime logo. I should have it super handy, and I don't. Uh, watch it on Amazon Prime, you guys. It's a great, great, great show, great series. All right. You think after all these days, of like day 43, I'd have all my little art cards organized. Now, I know I'm wondering, where did I do with my Amazon Prime, Mario? Can you believe, I have, I have your, I have Mario's vacuum here handy. I know where that is. Uh, I have, I have the, I have Draw 3D. I have Hour of Pencil Power. I have the little logo where you can okay. sign up for it. I have another version of the Hour of the Book. I've got my 30 minutes book cover. I got the Draw 3D book cover. I got the Imagination Station book cover. I've got Stress Bus right here. Stress is on the bus. Beep, beep. And I got this. This I do commissions. Oh, look at look at all these. Look, I have my nonprofit. Now, Amanda created all these. I've got my Mural Monday Mighties uh, assemblies. Look at all this stuff. I got the index. But I don't have my Amazon Prime little reminder here. Uh, oh, Mario wants me to show the GoFundMe. When we thank you for supporting us. All right, let's finish this. Now, on this one, this is going to be cool. Ooh, show you. I'm kind of running out of room here on this one. Oh, look at that. I made it so low. Uh, well, this is going to be a, an interesting swoop up here. Watch how I do this. I'm going to have this coop up, come down. And then it's going to be, at, as, uh, I, did, I ran out of room, so I only have room for one. I don't know if I have room for this. Well, see, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. And I ran out of room. I was trying to do the bottom design here. So let's see if I can figure out how to do it. We kinda, we'll kind of figure it out here together. We'll, er we'll erase and move it around. All right, I, wanna, I know I want to do some kind of a notch right here. And I know I want to do some kind of a notch right here. And so I'll have this come up from the corner. 
and we'll draw all this notch. And then I'm gonna have it swoop up. I'm gonna have it go even higher than that. And on this one, here's the thickness. See, it's coming down here. And then I'm gonna have, have it, oh, this'll work, this'll work, this is cool. So now look at this, the, the thickness. I'm gonna have the, the shoulder here, and there's the thickness. Oh, that's kind of cool, I like that. All right, so we'll darken this in here. And it gets lighter as it comes down. See, we that, you just keep scribbling, scribbling, scribbling. You, you make it, you fake it till you make it. Isn't that fun? And then I'm gonna put a few little rivets. Rivets, rivets, rivets. No, I'm gonna put a little thickness on this one. Uh, growing up art was what got me through school. My favorite part, 40 years old now. Thank you, Spring on YouTube. Thank you for that. I love hearing comments like that. I love it. If you guys have little comments, be happy, be welcome to share it. Uh, feel free to share it. Put some rivets. And I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow around the, the, for, uh, the neck collar. A little shadow under the chin of the helmet. And um, now this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so we have, we have the bottom, we have the notch. Then we have uh, this coming up. Now watch this, so we do the notch and it comes up right away. So I'm gonna start by right here. And I'm gonna go way up and come down. You like that? Mm -hmm. Way up, a little higher. And I'll put the thickness here. There we go, that's cool. And this one's a little too high on this side, but that's all right. We'll, we'll make that one a little, that one's a little higher. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Mario, you about ready to come in and do your Mario's Minute? Yep. Minutes with Mario. Can you pass me my selfie? Can you pass me my selfie real quick? What? Stompy. Oh, yeah, you got a Sharpie. Here. Stompy, Stompy, Stompy. Oh, Stompy, yeah, you got your Stompy. You took Poor guy, <laughs> putting up with me without my hearing aids. I love you, son. Yeah, but I want to show you this real quick. Ooh. Mara's got a great drawing he's about to do with you guys. Mara's got a great drawing he's about. You, you lucky you lucky cats. You get to draw a cool drawing with Mario. All right, what do you think, Mar? Are you looking forward to drawing with these these cool cats? Yep. I'm having fun. Cats. There's two cats down. All right, oh, we're almost ready. I just got to put a few little rivets, a little rivets here and there. Put a few little rivets, and put a little more value along here. And this this one. Can, this one got out of hand over here. Look at this. I didn't didn't quite match it over on this side, but that's eh, they had the 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 iron worker had to hammer it out right at the the smith at the smith shop. The iron smith. All right, boy, these are heavy. Can you imagine how heavy these were? Can you imagine that? All right, well there you go. That's pretty cool, you guys. And uh, I'm gonna lower this this down. This is our hour of pencil power. Mario's gonna come up here. I'm gonna let Mario draw, but I'm gonna draw a, like an old kind of a an old clock right here. And this will be our logo. And it, and right now, oh look at this, it's it's past. But this will be our hour of pencil power logo every day for an hour. And I think I'll I'll go ahead and put it. What time it is? It's 10 minutes past the hour here. Uh, it's going to be, what is it, 1 o'clock? Yeah. Time all right, so I'll, I'll add more detail. That'll be our logo, and I'll, I'll finish that up later. But right now, right now, I want to welcome to, this, to the stage the star of the movies and TV around the world. We are going to draw... 
with Mario. Mighty Mario's it minutes. Is, Dad, right now it is one, one. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's 109. Thank you, Mario. I'm okay. going to draw more. I'm going to put yours inside of some kind of a scroll here. Yeah, but I'm going to, I'll draw that. Here's your boundary. Oh, okay. you want me to tape it down too, huh? Yeah, but here's the date. It's 25th. Oh, date. Oh, we got to put the date. Thank you. 25th. Click it so I can see it one time. It is uh, 20. 20. 25th. 25. 25. 25. Thanks, Mambo. So I'll sign my name here. Thanks, look. Mario. Put the date on it, right? Look, look, I'll show you. I'll show you in the big... All right, let me see it. There it is, April 25th. So it's four. Thank you, Mario. Thank it you, 425. Saturday. 2020. It's Saturday. And it's our Saturday edition. All right, I'm going to tape it down. I got my got my white tape. Mario likes it to be... Like the paper to be secure. Mario, you have England on, you have Brazil, you have someone from Russia watching, from uh, someone from Ukraine, all over the United States. So here we go, Mario. Uh, 1010, I love Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes is wonderful. Here, Diane Kelly's welcoming you, Mario. And uh, Emma's welcoming you. Fatima's welcoming you. North and South on YouTube is welcoming you, Mario. Come on up. It's your, it's yours to take us out, Mo. Okay. You take your time. Ah. Yeah, you might have put it over there on the side for you? Yeah. Please. Okay. There's the cat. I scared the cat. Come here. Yeah, I love you, Bubba. So we're going to put Mario's auric vacuum up here. We're going to set it right up here. Go ahead, Lou. Clash. How's that, Mario? Yeah. That good? No, it's full. Huh? I don't want it fall. All right. I, it won't fall. Okay. Here, I'll be back. I'll put it up in a second. I'll go out of the room. You go yeah. ahead and introduce yourself, and I'll put it up in one second. Yeah. Yep. Gordon, it's like crazy. Hi. You want to say hi to him? Yeah, you might go funny and stuff like that. You go okay? funny. Oh, here you go. I go funny. And then you got to get your, here's your vacuum. It's right here. Oh, your little one? That little one. Oh, yeah, you can use the little one. Show them that. Okay. Hi, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an auric vacuum cleaner. Now, I like auric vacuum for my, my service. I, they are the lightweight. I like the patterns. They're very nice and neat. My, my dad's all queen ladies. They use orcs. So, that's all my draw for y'all today. So, I have my, my tools here with me. I have my stompy. My eraser. My pencil. I used the good pencil with my dad. My dad used the good ones. So I'm put my drawer right up here. Is that okay? Did you say hi to everybody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I do is I start from the bottom. Uh, the bottom okay and then do another little that bottom. looks great and then see what I do the handle I love you, Baba. I love you, Flash. My cat, you guys wonder. My cat is right here. They they follow us like a dog. Right, Dad? That's right. 
Let me hold the switch. The Oryx, the switch is up here. And here's the bag. Wait. I think that's okay. It used to be bigger, it's up here, but it's okay. Here's that. And then, you put, I put like this, this, I guess, O, R, E, C, K, and I put it again here. And my core outlet. There's my outlet. There's the core. The back end is going to put in. And it looks like what I'm going to do is here. Is I'm going to out make the core bigger. Because mine is commercial. It says commercial on it. And. I like that. And then now I'm going to take my softy. First, I'm going to read that little guy. That one needs to be there. Now, I'm going to take my zombie. Diane Kelly says, great work, Mario. You are Thank awesome. You. Thank you. My dad teaches me how to draw like this, and I, I just practice and I draw so well. Yeah, I'll tell you if we have, and then we have Emma saying hi, Mario. We hi, have Spring Emma. saying hi, Mario. As Emma, what kind of backing she has as she at work? Well, you can ask her right there. There's the microphone right there. Ask her. What kind of backing corner do you have? Do you have Oric? Or car, sanitator, what kind of backing you have? Mario, why don't you take your pencil and you know that where it says Oric across the bag? Can you yeah. can you make that darker so we can read that? You have it the O R and the E and the C and the K. There's the O, good. Hi, hey, Papa. There you go. Now we can see it. That's wonderful. You want to sign your name on that now? Yep. Right here? Yeah. And why don't you take your Stompy and Stompy in the bag? I like that. You know, the bag, make the bag a different value. Make that whole bag, oh, I love that. Look at that, doesn't that look nice? Mm-hmm. No. That's nice, so you can do the whole cord too, that's cool. Now, okay, hey, darken it, that's awesome. Take your pencil and darken in that handle. I love it. Look at uh, Diane say, my goodness, Mario, each of your drawings get better and better. Thank you. What kind of vacuum cleaner do you have? Uh, at, she's, you can ask her that and she'll put it in there. Oh, good. You're darkening the top of the handle. That's what I was talking about. Push hard on that. Is that not have enough lead? Oh, there we go. 
There you go. That's awesome. Well, there we go. And Rowan says, do you like music, Mario? Yes, I do love music. I listen to gospel. I listen to Jesus music. Uh, Mario listens to uh, gospel, I, praise, and worship, right? Yeah, I don't listen to rap. I don't listen to other music. I just listen to um, praise and worship music. It makes me happy. And uh, Diane says she has a shark. A shark. I have one of those, too. Don't you have, like, two or three sharks, Mario? Uh, one I took apart, I Yeah. And one I'm saving to get to get it fixed. One I'm getting fixed right now. Oh, yeah. Well, till you talk to the microphone, tell them everybody bye. Bye. And do you want to show them your GoFundMe? Yeah. Oh, wait. Here's this. So, Mario has a dream, and you want to help Mario toward his dream. Here's his GoFundMe. And Gosh. we appreciate the donations. He's raised all that himself. And he's raised... What do you, what do you get the, your equipment? What do you use it for, Mario? Well, I use it for lawns. And I have house cleaning. I use it for cleaning houses. And and you, do you wash cars, too? I wash cars. Yeah. And he power washes. I special wash. And he does this. He donates his time to help out neighbors and uh, friends and family and, and, and uh, folks that need it. And uh, the seniors. I help the seniors and... Here, show them the, your logo that Ryan Shaw from Texas. Ryan Shaw made Mario this cool logo. Here's my logo. There it is. The, the green, green monster. The green monster. And it's a lawnmower. Uh, I be mow lawns. I clean the vacuum, clean the vacuums, and the clean houses. Isn't that wonderful? And here's, All right, Mario. Oh, you can tell more. Here's my air compressor. He cleaned the vacuums. Good job. All right, do you take us out? Bye. Wait. Bye, everybody. Wait, Stay whoa, whoa. positive. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, Mar has one more thing he wants to do. Bye. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. Mar, he's going to be holding the vacuum. Bye. Wait. Put it on the fire so Facebook can see it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Stay positive. Stay creative. Be patient with each other. We love you. We'll Bye. talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.